Hi guys, and uh, welcome to the top tier tiers. Uh, what even is this? It's like a ban list roundtable thing, right? Yes. Yeah, it's a ban list roundtable. Um, uh, and with me, we've got myself, Lichi Punnett, Lichi Punnett, something like that. Uh, Tim Tom, the Tekken main. Hello. Do you uh, we've the got. Best? Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Yue Penguin, or I think he's Kentai Lover sixty nine. Yeah, he he's he's here. He's somewhere here. He's, like I don't uh, know. He's probably attending to. He's probably business. masturbating. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Uh, you don't have to say. Uh, we've got, we've got uh, Wibs, who is a guy who plays Nanoha. And and he no No, no, you don't play that anymore. Don't be silly. Yeah, you right. So trying and to uh, we've we've got a uh, what what do I call you? Yuen? Is that what it is? Um. Yeah, just call me you, and that's fine. I'm known as um, yeah. Asterisk in a lot of places. He's um, Asterisk. I play a lot of South. Like, yeah, he plays a lot of South. There we go. That's that's uh, topical. Anyway, we've only got six people. We had some other people planned to be on here, but because we're pulling from... Well, I, think, I don't think we can get a much more diverse time zone spread if we try, to be quite <laughs> honest. We've got like... We've got West Coast, we've got like Mid East, or like I, I suppose Toronto is like nearly East Coast. We've got Europe, we've got freaking Australia. The, the the most we could do to make it worse is if we picked somewhere from like the Middle East as well. And I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, uh, so we're going to talk a bit about the bands that happened like a month ago, a month and a half. Like it was a really early announcement, but it only went into effect on the 1st of Feb, I think. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it there was the end of December. Yeah, so quite it's this is quite belated, but at the same time, that means people have had time to see if there's still any life in these decks that they banned. Spoiler, there isn't really. Oh, well, I guess Bang Dream is still there, but um, and uh, test out some decks that might have gotten a bit better, uh, which I think is always a plus, even if it's a little, uh, it's not exactly timely. But hey, you're listening to this anyway, so anyway, so let's talk about the bands first and foremost. Um, we like to. So the ban turn sideways yeah. for their good ban list image. We've linked their oh, channel and uh, their is... ban list video in the slideshow. Is this uh Josh again? Yes. Yeah, it's that guy. Oh cool. Yeah, shout outs to that guy. He's uh he's great. Um yeah, so the bands themselves. Uh I'm doing this from memory because I'm speaking on a phone right now because uh scheduling issues. Uh Love Life Sunshine. Um you know what? Someone else do it. I don't want to say anything sure. stupid. Sure. Uh, Love Live Sunshine. Yeah. Uh, Mirai Ticket. <laughs> Watanabe Yo got restricted to one. Uh, and Kanan. Uh, what is Capture Stance? Kanan got uh, removed from the choose one of three. It is now unlimited. Um, they added Mari. Uh, Alzora Jumping Heart Mari to the choose one of three instead of Kanan. Uh, for Bang Dream. The promo is now banned for good. Uh, there's a new choose one of three Yay. with the uh, with three two Arisa assist, the two one refresh counter, and the uh, two one stock swap event. Good luck, Fred. Uh, for Hinalagi, there's now choose two, choose one of two between the three two Yuko and the uh, principal, the alarm card. Uh, for Milky Holmes, uh, Cordio's Garden. The most now impactful. Yeah, the most, the most impactful one, man. Cordillo's I actually forgot advanced. about Milky Homes. It is now you can now run one Cordillo's Garden in your Milky Homes decks. Uh, free, that's it. Free QK. Free QK. Yeah, and that's it. That's never gonna happen. But yeah, <clears throat> um, those are the changes. Uh, yeah. A lot of significant changes. Uh, I guess we can talk about Sunshine first. Yeah, let's talk about Sunshine. It's think? dead now. Yeah. It's, that was pretty quick. I think it summed it up. Yeah, like um, so, <laughs> it, this, like this the previous Nisikoi, band list. This is a Nisikoi tier band. Yeah, it just smashed it on the head. It's no like, longer a deck that could be played reasonably. Um, I so absurd so, how how <laughs> badly it got smashed. Yeah, like last year, they um they tried to hit it a little. They're like, oh well, you can't play these these cute cards that everyone rates really highly because you do cool things with the Kanan Saver and 
it's got great synergy of the one zero Mari. So you can't do that anymore, but you still got the most powerful effect in the set, the thing that defines the set, the early play, which is for all intents and purposes unrestricted. And that needs to get hit very badly. So instead of hitting it like a normal hit would, like, you know, uh, restriction to two or uh, a, a more restrictive pick one of three or, you know, that sort of thing. Instead, they just say, well, not only are you going to not have access to your cute little tech cards, but you can only have one Yo. Hey, we have Kanan back. Yay. <laughs> yeah, you do have Kanan back. But the thing is, you can't even play Mari with Kanan, so why even bother? Yeah, you can. She's so... one of three. Well, Mari. No, Kanan's off. You can play Mari I... with Kanan. Yeah, but you can't play it with the card that made Mari like oh, actually good. <laughs> yeah, like uh, so the deck's been destroyed. It is dead. It won't be coming back until an unban happens or something similarly powerful is printed. No, it's so, it's uh, getting a new set. The it's getting a new yeah, set. yeah, it's getting a SIF set, but uh the set's not thing gonna get anything. The meme restand deck that was introduced in volume two is probably the best. Sunshine deck now? Yeah, the Voltron, right? Yeah, the Voltron. That's like a pretty good deck. Mm. So, it, is, yeah, it not, it's like, is it not the Chica, Chica combo? The burn three? No, I don't think that combo is very good. I think the recent is very efficient. The recent is really good. Yeah. Alright, let's... Um, so we just... actually have like a little uh, slideshow. I assume it'll be linked in the uh, description or whatever, uh, where everyone Wait, kind somebody of... Somebody said so something. UA, UA was saying something about the Chica combo, sorry. I was just saying, oh, why, just... why is the? I'm just curious. Isn't the Chica combo burn three? It costs I don't, I don't play this game anymore, so I don't know. It just costs too much. Right? Yeah, so it's play too much one. Feature one burn three on a stock. Slot. Why would you play that if you can just like play PDF and not pay anything for your burn three or pay very little? Yeah, I mean, but, but if you want to like optimize uh, Love Life Sunshine, it is consideration, but not a particularly like it's just. Um, so the cost it like. I, ha I had a local player who ran Chica alongside the early play back, in, um, just aiming to get like one Chica off a game for like the extra instance. And it wasn't awful. Yeah. It was like you know, fine. The thing is, it's but, not like, awful. Like, like the the huge issue with um Mari going on this list is that that is it's like an extra. Um, yeah, how do you how do you actually beat the how do you meet the condition yeah. of the combo as well? Don't you need the Mari on board? Uh, a, a Mari on board? No, you need like a Yo and a Rico. Oh, sorry, Rico, not Mari. Yeah, so like, which which Rico is replacing the the two one if you're playing Chica combo, or are you the playing two the two one? one? No, you're are still you... playing two one. Just play the two one. Yeah, yeah. two one's oh. a choice. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So look, Love Life Sunshine isn't dead. Like, there are still waifu decks. There's still like. The Love new, Life Sunshine I, I, is that I think competitively it is dead. Okay. What I think yeah, competitively is, like, is dead. I, I, like, I definitely think that, like, I mean, so when did the extra booster first come out? It was, like, June of 2017? Yeah, it took a while to get hit. And, like, we've been seeing the same top end in every Sunshine deck since then. Like, they printed mm -hmm. a whole new booster and it added, like, two or three new cards to the deck, something like that. Well, so the, think... the thing it added was a, was a brainstorm that did need you to tap two cards. That's yeah, all it added. Uh, it, exactly. So, <laughs> it added and, like, four and, like, cards. And, like, me that some people ran, right? No, it added so, four like, cards, man. I, I'd stand like... by a Ricky, Drop Search. Nice one. All the broken cool. cards. The yeah, set already like... had a Drop Search. It just got a Japan, one. Japan wasn't even running those cards. The only card out of those you listed they run is the brainstorm. And the drops. They run the drops. Shimakaze. Yeah. Uh, not the Shimakaze. The uh, Minami. They played the Minami. They played the Minami. Yeah. And the drops is true. Sure. Standby. Oh, they play standby now. Good on them. They, always, uh, yeah. they, play standby, yeah. <laughs> they, they just played uh, Minami and then into standby. Yeah. Okay. Standby sucks. All right. Uh, so Love Life Sunshine is dead, uh, and unfortunately, it just won't come back until it gets unbanned. I really doubt they're going to push the uh, they're going to push the um, the letter with uh, the new set. They're just going to print bad waifu cards and leave the that. I, th I think right. in, in in an ideal world, this ban is just to give them more design space and allow them to print better cards in this new set, right? 
and feel less bad about it. The last time I used that argument, like for this scale, I got burned so badly that I no longer regard it as a valid argument. <laughs> Did this guy have any set announced? Sorry? Did this guy have like a new set announced I mean, ahead of time? No, no, they 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 preempted D two by like hitting everything. Mm. <laughs> Nisikoi is extra uh, boosted. I mean, like it happened with Nisikoi. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely enhanced the deck. Yeah, we look, going know, by, going by. Maybe just because it's like Bushiro's own IP, and like it's a very popular IP. I expect them to like no. try and keep it in the realm no. of like. I don't think so. Isn't so at this point now? At this point, Sunshine. The thing here be that like because Sunshine is such a popular IP, people are gonna play it anyways, regardless of how bad it is. So well, they can just. Mm. Like, you could have said that. No, I did No, you could said that for Volume Two, right? They didn't have to like give it like that stuff. I I think at uh, this point, since we're in like post ban, post ban land, like they're probably not gonna like add that much. I like. I disagree with the popularity argument at this point. Only like people who really are fanboys of Love Life Sunshine will play it now. Because if you wanted to play a popular pushed series about music and idols and stuff, transition time. We've got Bang Dream. I mean, nobody, nobody played CG or Monogatari after. This is all just a ploy by Bushiro to get the love levers to play Bang Dream. <laughs> yeah, the, I. Act you make you make that you said it as a joke. I I think there's actually a sad amount of truth in that. Uh, Bang Dream has been hit, also, but not so bad that the deck is dead. Right now, it's basically kind of like the English Whoa. deck, which is pseudo functional. Uh, I do think it lost. I mean, it lost a really. It lost its unique differentiator as a competitor. It lost deck. the most broken card in the yeah, game. It lost. Like, a, it lost a lot of things, but like. Yeah, the promo being banned hurts. The stock swap combo being uh, unplayable now is also unfortunate. Uh, so, but you know, there's a lot of shit in Bang Dream. I'm sure there's something. Oh, Bang Dream! It's Bang Dream will bounce back. It'll 100 percent bounce back. Bang Dream has so many good cards that it's like impossible to just ban the set to a point where it's unplayable. So it's just always yeah. gonna bounce back in some form or another. Yeah. Uh, and worst think, case scenario, they'll just support bands, and that'll be good as well. Yeah, I think the risk reward on running the stock swap combo was like pretty absurd. So, yeah, I, I it's, it's just a, I actually think it's a reasonable restriction. It's Dream. it's not a risk reward thing. Like, there's just no downside to running it. If your opponent doesn't compress, then they're not compressed. If they do compress, then you can punish them for oh, it. That's what I'm saying. The risk is like almost yeah, yeah. and the reward is so much. There is, <laughs> there is no there is no risk. It's not a risk reward measure. Yeah, if there's no it's risk. Like a very, I mean, it's like a, it's like the tiniest of risks, right? Yeah, like um, I, I, I do dead want to cards that. in your hand if they don't do anything, but who who cares, yeah. right? Like, yeah, look, yeah. I I. I I do want to give um one of our missing members, uh, uh, Ken or Zabuton, who wants to be here, uh, actually correctly predicted this uh, last year um, in terms of what he thinks should have been. Me, personally, I'm still of the opinion that a lot of this entire ban list, I think, was kind of a populist ban because a lot of complaining um, happened as soon as the last ban list uh, about how what should have been banned wasn't banned. And then they basically hit everything that was complained about. You know, in particular, Love Life Sunshine and uh, hella yeah. fucked up. They were printing anti sunshine cards in yeah. the run up in the yeah, run up to this ban list. In set, like they're well, just like experimenting, right? So, well, you know how you know how they design sets, right? They designed them like at least six months in advance. Yeah, there's I no mean, way like, for them to. I'm not saying. Well, it's just it very was... unfortunate that it happened like that. Where uh, people didn't get to test with the anti analogy cards and anti sunshine cards. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I think I think you, I think Unisan would be much stronger in a world where Heen Logic can still run around because of the two one shuffle time. I think that would have been really sick tech. That would have been really awesome to see, but it just like came Gio, out like Gio, Gio yeah. Stuff. Um, Gio, Gio has shuffle Gio. time and. And Starlight got the two one assist that yeah. basically makes clock condition early plays like fucked. Mm -hmm. 
Well, look, that's that's future proofing. That can go on the big list of kind of cool things that sets have that aren't actually relevant in a tournament scenario, like they always do. Sure. It's the timing is just super fucked up. That's all I'm yeah. gonna say. I don't I don't think I'm it's that like it's just sunshine. Yeah, that's hey, entirely your fault. Thanks for buying my yo, bro. Yeah, no problem, dude. <laughs> I, th I think right. um, like the the really upsetting thing about the um, the Bang Dream choice list is the um, the like decompression mocha engine felt like something that was completely player created, like it was something that wasn't on Bushiro's radar. Otherwise, they wouldn't have printed it together. That's, I mean, they've uh... also printed it in Konosuba. Yeah, but it's like, well, it mocha too. mocha wasn't there. Yeah. It's been in it, it's been in Love Live for a while now. Like the OG Love Live that was like actually like a huge deck oh, yeah. in Japan yeah, for like a long yeah. time. And but like, and they, it, like they had a they had extra stuff as well in Love Live. I think this is the most aggressively it's been like costed, and then with Mocha on yeah. top of it instead of just like vanilla swings. I'm pretty sure Mocha is broken regardless of what else is well, in the picture. Like uh, that's that's not with, that's with not the a specific combo. with the specific stock swap combo setup, you can as a lot better than Mocha because uh it rewards multiple instances a lot more. Okay, um, sure. Well, I mean, but Mocha Mocha anyway, so I don't Yeah. Know. Yeah, like I, I, I just think Mocha's a dumb card. It's just a dumb card either way. Anyway. Sure. I mean uh, the reason, we can't really dive into yeah, go on. Well, I mean, no, I was just commenting that. Uh, yeah, there's like, not much to talk like about regarding is, Bang Dream. I mean, I think because... most people, what, what I read, the thoughts thing, just said that, like, basically, the Arisa decompressor and the, and the refresh counter are banned, and every deck is just going to run the stock swap event. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I think that's true. Like, funny, or, funny, or they'll run, funny or they'll run nothing. Like they might like, just run nothing. I think Aris is only good against things that like pay out a lot of stock early, like trance decks, stuff like that. I mean by yourself. But then they're they're like decompressed anyway, so you don't need to like punish that any more than like you do already, right? Well, you You're would you would have had or with the with the stock swap by itself. <laughs> like if, if you're if you're picking one off this choice list, you can go like, okay, I re I really need this Fumio so that I can beat like decks that pay out a lot of stock. But you don't ever need that. You you like you only need an out to things like rewrite where you don't expect to deal any damage at all. Yeah. All right. I can um, actually see. Uh... Yeah, so... I, I, I can see a couple, uh, not a couple, I can see Lists actually running the refresh counter over the stock swap event if they pick something. I think that's a possibility. Yeah, I don't like, I think, I think like, that's a bad the, possibility. The way, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's, I but like the way, I, the, the way I see Bang Dream yeah. right now is that the decks are going to be more like focused around the toilet and like the Arisa Neg Soul walls. And then like in those, in those types of decks, then the refresh counter is just better than stock swap. Yeah, those decks that don't want to aggressively push at the end game. So, refresh counter in the choose. Like, a lot of way shorts these days, but since when did a refresh counter become like a hot watch card? What does it do uh, in it, Bang Dream? It, it, never, it, it never was. It's just Bang Dream could abuse it. And they needed another yeah, card. Uh, they needed another card to put on the ban list. I don't think Bang Dream actually in... abuses it like at all, but it was a card that was like, run in every when I, list. When I when I say abuses it, I mean the fact that every list ran it, and then every list ran toilet, meaning the actual like stock commitment wasn't an issue for the set. Uh, so so they it, could I've abuse it. it. I think. I mean, the idea is that you have the stock swap combo, but the refresh counter gives you a bit of you know immunity. A chance at fixing the if you stops helping you. Yeah, that's the that's the thing, right? Mm. Yeah. That's what the, that's what the counter is covering for for Bang Dream in that deck. It, it pairs really well with a costless finisher like Mocha too. But I think that combination is pretty stupid. I mean, that's true. That's. I mean, but they weren't running Mocha. That's not the reason why. Like, yeah. I mean, 
Mm, regardless. Yeah, sure. mm, the top, like, Actually, the top end didn't matter. People but, ran the free fish counter no matter cover, what. It, 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 I think the way it covered your bases, right? Is the what, what I'm basically curious about is, like, how good are these refresh counters? Because I was, always, I was always a fan, right? But, like, not that insane in Ghost Shoes, not that insane in Excel World, not that insane in Log I think just right? generally like, they've not been that good because most sets can't support generating I mean, that much stock. So, so like, we've seen they've seen play in both Bang Dream and Project Diva just because they're like the sets that can build enough stock to like hit their end game and refresh counter consistently. Uh, right? not, I don't think that's the reason why they play it. But the, it covers it's like immunity. Right? You have I, I mean, OP I've... shit and the refresh counter protects you against the OP shit. And then Bang Dream is that like only, a... the only deck in the game that can stock swap combo and you know have a chance at saving itself against other stock swap combos. If the refresh counter is not on the list, right, you can run, you can still run the refresh counter with the stock swap on that. And you still have like, you know, the only thing you're missing is the refresher, which is kind of like a win more card to begin with. So if you're if you're set as a refresh counter, it's like a staple in your deck now then, is what you're telling me. If refresh counter meta, should be a staple I mean, yeah, in your deck. Meta, not anymore. Not me not anymore. Sure. I mean like now, now that Bang Dream's been hit, which was by far the most you know represented deck, the only particularly good deck with this sort of stock swappy stuff is um is kind of super. Old school like, love ignoring ignoring the getting a new set this year. Yeah. Uh, let's, right now we're just <laughs> ignoring the fact that Idol Master has it as well, and we're ignoring the fact that like um. Sure. Milky uh, Holmes actually uh, has, has, it. has it. I mean, it depends on how the meta shakes up, right? But as of right now, it's probably pretty much not likely. And that's uh, it's a, it's a... Uh, rewrite also has it, I think, but it's, it's just such a prohibitive cost. I don't think you can run it. It's not. Uh, well, yeah, you can yeah. run it. It's yeah. just like it's just hard. You have it's to be pretty like, prohibitive. You have, you have to, be, to stack brainstorms yeah. every turn. It's not reasonable. For that card to work, I think, yeah. I, I don't think I don't think so. Basically, that's why it's not a staple index that can run it because this sort of combo, I guess you call it, is not nearly as prevalent as it was prior to the ban list. Also, like spending yeah. stock before level three is pretty bad for most sets, except for unless you like Hino like Hinologi. Hmm. Except for like Hinologi. And speaking of sure. Hinologi, um, Hinologi is kind of. Well, I wouldn't call it dead, but it's not as dead as Love Life Sunshine. Let's I say mean, that. I'd, I'd call it as dead as Love Life Sunshine. No, what the no, 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 Sorry, yeah, double check all your bad, man. Yeah, I, I mean, like... Dude, someone is salty. Someone is salty. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, like, I mean, the choice is obviously Merlin, right? Like, I mean, sorry, not Merlin. The Alarm principle. It's yeah. 100% yeah, the I, Alarm. I, I, the, the, so, like, the Alarm is what set um, Hidden Logic apart from every other trance deck and made it like consistently pull off at least two yeah. sometimes three it, trances it's also i mean god forbid another hemolog set but it's also you know it makes every future transfer you know it enhances Pete. every transfer that could, could that could be released too if there's another set. yeah I, I mean like if you want to compare hemologic to like any other trance deck we can look at franks which tends to get out like one Strelitzia and then does not much for the rest of the game. Or I think they run a different one. Dude, different one, but, um, Gurren, Lag, and Troll deck like, merge. Sure. At can Bro, double kid. merge. Okay, yeah, okay, like Gurren, Gurren Lagan is like the only trance that like I've seen played that replaces itself when it's played in the same way that this yeah. alum helps replace itself. Yeah. With the trance, and that's the only like, that's the one thing pushing that trance forwards in the same way the salon was the only thing pushing in logic trance forwards. Yeah. So I think it's very rare you don't pick the alarm. I think some people will just like shoot for the seal, but I think that's wrong, and you shouldn't do that. Escarta. Uh... 
This card, uh, just this card existing, it was like you know those you know Nisekoi back in the day people would run that green counter change that on attack surge two. What bothered me about this card is with trance, it's literally that combo, but surge three and the early play cost one instead of three. Like it just doesn't make sense in my like it just doesn't make, make any sense to me. The card just never made any freaking sense because stupid when they go from like twenty cards a deck to like eight cards a deck at the end of the turn with like Four or five climaxes, it. it's stupid. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the point is they were trying to push Hina Logan real hard. I just don't like way shorts when they make <laughs> stupid shit. You and you're still I think me. this card is like broken. I, I... The stupid shit is fun. That deck was fun mm. to play. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit out a bunch of level three. It's pretty fun. You're like you're like doing a bunch of shit with your cards and you're like your opponent's sitting there watching you like, you know. Yeah, if, it feels like playing card. it feels like playing Yu Gi Oh. You can just leave. Or you're like Pokemon, right? You're like, you're like, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm going back. You don't have to cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went, what? <laughs> like, shit, dude, that's, that's fun. But like, uh... I, Good for the game? Questionable. Uh, sure. Yeah. And I, th I think, I, oh, uh... It's like, it, in, it, in its current state, no. But like, if every deck could do something that powerful, I think the game would be like, more fun. Uh, I'm actually a, I was actually a big fan of the design philosophy behind Hinologi, uh, because yeah, it's very, very, okay. very, it, it can be very, very easily attacked. That's the thing. Mm. And that's something <laughs> that opens the metagame up to being, you know, Cut to, out. to being metagames. Like there, there's a, there's a reason to play specific cards that aren't necessarily good in your deck. Like rewrite has to play these two, one blue anti-change bombs that kind of suck. Uh, re zero has to run two to three. They have to change their brainstorm because of it. And that's a good thing that shows who's actually thinking about what they might fight against, but it didn't really happen that way. Instead, what happened is everyone jumped on the Hina Logi bandwagon and proclaimed it was unbeatable. And that's just, that's, that's not how meta games work. And this is where I see a lot of the issues with, like Wait, are we all silent? a wise community. I mean, am I silent? No, it's okay. just you having autism. <laughs> okay, I'm just having a monologue apparently. But Wait, what? I'm, I'm, Something wrong? Got... No, no, no. It, it's fine. We could hear you out. You always just uh, okay. Cool. His internet. He's really paranoid. Because I'm, I'm like driving now. <laughs> I'm, I'm Bluetoothing, and I'm not sure you can hear me quite the same. No, but um, okay, cool. Uh, but what ended up happening was people refused to adapt, and then what? Uh, and, and it's at the highest level, right? So um, uh, Zabuton or Ken, the guy who's unfortunately unable to make it, he made a pretty salient point in that Hinologi was highly regarded by some of the quote unquote best players in Japan. Like in their nationals, which was a I believe a twelve man tournament, two yeah. of the people who qualified. This is a these are like massive tournaments that you have to outright win. Um, two of the people who qualified took Hinologi, which puts it at like, I know it's only a 12-man tournament, but that's only a 20% rep rate, which is pretty big. Like, that's that's really significant. Now, what he's failed to mention is that Hinologi came 12th and 11th at that tournament. And that's because people are able to play around Hinologi. People know how to deal with it. People can easily put text in their deck to deal with it. And that is a demonstration of what happens when, you know, better players, ones who are winning tournaments who are trying to metagame know what to look for. And unfortunately for Hinologi, which was not like a highly represented deck, another deck with a big target on its back was Love Life Sunshine, which also was, you could attack it with similar things. And that was a bit of splash damage. It didn't make a huge amount of difference in the greater competitive scene, the WGP, but it certainly made a big, big difference when everyone is metagaming appropriately. And it's that yeah. sort of deck that I think is good for a game, like a, a, a deck that can be attacked. Yeah, I think Hinologic definitely rewards like a skill ceiling, because I think a lot of low-level players will just lose to it because they don't know what to do. But then by playing against it more and learning the matchup and tacking a couple of anti-changes in, they can deal with it. Or but it is, it is super... And they just start the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, like oh, well, oh, one, oh, of, oh, one of the issues... One of the issues with Hinologi is that it makes you feel so bad in that in that moment that you just don't want to play the game anymore, and that that's not a good thing. Like, mm. if something's I, I powerful think, but like, completely unfun, that's sorry, I'm, I'm interrupting you, but I'll, nah, I'll let you talk fine. in just a sec. 
like if it's super powerful but also super unfun for one player, that's not good game design. So yeah. I like the concept behind Hinologi. I don't like how it was executed and the natural reaction. Mm. Predictable. I, um, you feel really helpless. Yeah, I I really don't like how like, it forced two anti change bombs into nearly every list as well, just so that they had an answer to it. I mean, because like it, it essentially means you're running like a forty card deck instead of forty two. Because you just uh, sort of mean... set these two slots aside. Which it's not like edge change bombs are, are dead in other matchups, right? Well, yeah, but like you only really want one of them most of the time. It's only against things like Keen Logic you want to. I don't think it's. A I mean, huge, I don't think it's a huge deal for you know the bomb count to go up, but I do think it might be so. The um, connection with Sunshine makes me think that they wanted to restrict these two series together, um, because Hinologi could be a really powerful dark horse in a meta where there isn't another really popular double early play deck. Mm. Right. Um, and I guess they just I, didn't I, want I, people playing the deck anymore. Yeah, I think it would look like favoritism if they banned one and not the other as well. Do you think do they're think was finally going to look at... Go on. Do, they, do you think they're finally going to look at yellow over zero? Like no, group. absolutely not. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, uh, because they're, they're, they're going to look at Darling in the Franks before ReZero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, don't say that. That's actually depressing. Like, that actually yeah. makes me upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Um, GGO is the most likely one. Is GGO even play. being played right now? Because I know Franks is being played. I think... Yeah, I think GGO is slept GGO. on. I think it's better than Franks by a lot. Like, like yeah, I, I think I think GGO way. is a lot better than Franks as well, but, but I don't see it being played, and I see Franks it, being like, played. G GGO is how Sunshine should have been printed, I think. Play like, is the same engine, but in a much more balanced form. I still um, think GGO is a bit overpowered. That might be just me. The concept of the is very powerful. Dude. Yeah. You think every deck you own is overpowered. You literally Wait, but think GG is, okay. is overpowered now. I don't want to hear that from the ReZero apologist. Come on, man. Calm down, dude. It's OP, dude. Just like uh, Shining Resonance, which okay. is but, the new but like, we, I think a lot of people have come to accept that GG is like, really strong. And Japan's like picking up the stuff like are crazy you, now. Are, are you sure? It might be the next are, revenant today. Are, are, are you sure people accept GG is strong? Because like, y you look online and like online community discussion and people think GGO is a fucking meme and they don't even like they don't even like people about here. <laughs> like discord did like uh, like our, the discord mm, discussion for example mm, some pe people 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 don't even know people don't even know like what the GGO deck is that you're talking about i think damn i mean shade, i'm just saying like what matters really right now is what the Japanese players are, how they're reacting to um, this balance. Because I mean, in the end, look what's going to what's going to happen in Japan that. is very, uh, very like what it's it's very predictable. Like we all know exactly what's going to happen in Japan. They're going to keep playing Bang Dream. They're going to keep playing Sao, and then the rest of their meta is going to be the most recent five sets. That's just three, how it's going to be. Yeah, or you know, there's going to be a new like really good set that'll you know. Warp their meta. Summer pockets. I, Summer pockets. Like, like I said, the most recent few sets. The thing with Summer Pockets is that Japan's become disillusioned with that set because of the fail case with the win combo, it seems. Mm. Like people are playing not the win combo now, which I think defeats the purpose of Summer Pockets, but I mean, we can discuss that later. Oh, they, they no, like the, 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 no, they no, play the bar. A, lot of, a lot of lists are either win bar or bar bar right now. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Japan is very, very. They they are very, very bad at dealing with fail cases, which mm. is a huge re reason why they like they rate Azus as so high. And it it takes a deck like Love Life Sunshine, uh, which is so immensely powerful elsewhere, for them to abandon Azus. So. Like it, it, it's but just how Japan's mind is. Standby is inherently inconsistent. Yeah, but the thing is, when standby works, oh. it feels so good. It feels like so ridiculously good. That everyone's gonna like it, and that's I mean, why standby is popular. I think they also just recognize the power of the mirror ticket engine. Like, it's early play plus one. Like, it, it solves 
every single problem a deck could have in those three cards. So I mean, that's what I'm saying, right? They they don't anyway, need anything extra because it's so powerful. Yeah, and, and it's also consistent, right? It it works. It, it's, yeah, it works it, it, there obviously is, because it's no overpowered. Case to that card, like to those, to those to that set of cards. That's like yeah. yeah. Mean, to, meanwhile, like, oh, the I missed my combo or whatever, right? It's so consistent. Yeah, exactly. case is being at one six, yeah. basically. Well, that nice. I think that's I think that's actually a big reason why they gravitate to Franks as well because Franks's level one is not climax combo reliant. They get to play the one zero zero two, which is a really really good, yeah. good card. Don't get me wrong, but that card also feels way less bad when you play it because you can't miss your combo. There's no combo. You just need a climax to play, and then you can probably get a plus if you play two of them. Like that's just going to happen. I, thought I think that's a Franks big part of what they do. Run the mean or me? Do they not? No, the the, the common yeah. Frank list right now is like a uh, six six gates and two bars, and then you play double merge. I I thought it was like gates? some number of gate. Yeah, some like number of gates. People, one one wind or something, right? Pe people gravitate between four and six gates. Some lists run like the one the tech one wind for the restand, and then the rest is bars for us. Uh, uh, Ganesh Ganeshka. Whoa. <laughs> He's not even here, dude. He's oh. not even here. <laughs> it is. I it is. Control myself. Six comeback, two treasure. Thank you. Thank you. How do I kick people from the call? Shout out to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So let's. Um. Before we do go on, I do want to say one thing, which I did notice as quite a pattern, actually. A lot of this ban list, like I said earlier, is populist. The complaints that people had on Twitter, quite vocally, I think influenced Bushiroad pretty significantly, as as it should have, because that is the most direct form of feedback you can possibly get from um, your player base. Literal direct feedback every, using the using the hashtag. Every single every single ban on this list actually came from Twitter. Like every every single card yeah, that got like banned Twitter, was asked for on Twitter. Yeah. They and were all was on the there. refresh and counter asked for? The refresh counter was asked yes, for it was on, on it was on this. Like there were lists on there that talked about how uh, I, I think that's stupid because in the in the context of all this, if you consider stock swap cancer, the refresh counter is like the treatment for cancer, right? So I um I do think that was a bit of a silly request, and I think that the knee this was a bit of a knee-jerk reaction, if you ask me. Um, what I this means there, going like, forward. There, 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 there are other decks that they just didn't want a deck that had that shit to have a I mean count. whatever man the thing is if you hit this like when this combo was the only early play deck that had an anti change counter well the thing is if you hit this combo then there's no need for this refresh thing to be important I mean, at all anymore well, you can, yeah. if it's off the well, list you can run the refresh counter with the stock swap so like the the Arius yeah, minus exactly. two soul deck can if, Wait, if, okay if refresh counter it. isn't on it then the Arius deck runs stock swap refresh Okay, whatever. That's fair. Right. I, I, I don't um, think it's like a terribly unreasonable request. No, no, no. I think yeah, I think all these bands are like quote unquote reasonable, but whether they were necessary. Yeah, no. Sunshine was overkill, but I also think Sunshine needs to be hit somehow. Mm. I don't think Yo to One was the answer, but it needs to be hit somehow. Anyway, what this means going forward is that people are gonna start tweeting at Bushy Road about these stupid bands that they want, and Bushy Road might actually react to them. And that worries me. Look, they might not. That's true. They might not. And in this case, I think that a lot of the bands were warranted because the representation, it wasn't off the charts, but it was very high. Like, we weren't Railgun. We weren't Nisekoi. We weren't Rewrite slash Diskea. But they certainly were high numbers in the context of Weishwartz. I mean, if they keep giving the people so what they want, like with this Milky Holmes on restriction, like, you know, Scott Yeah, of Lynch. course. That's, yeah, like maybe one day they'll have QK at 0.5. And you'll be able to play. You'll be able to flip a coin at the beginning of the game if you if you win, then you slot a QK in your deck. Either way, I think that this ban list overall was a positive thing. I think that it was very heavy-handed, but it was a fine ban list as far as they go. I I can't I really think, say any were bad bans. Yeah, I I think I think it directly addresses like it really clearly shows which direction they want to take the game. Like banning Stars promo and putting the Kinologic Alarm on a choice list show that they don't want it to turn into something like Yu Gi Oh or Pokemon. 
they still want that element of like variance and decking and accessibility. They have a new um, guy now, right? New guy in charge. Uh, I don't know anything about. I actually don't know. Director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the know. Director for White Horse this year. Well, no, that's just because Kidani stepped down from some role somewhere. I don't think they have no, a straight no, up new think, game no, design I think director. No, I think it's a new guy. Like, uh... it... okay, look, that's fine. Um, because I think that Goblin Slayer looks at least kind of interesting, and I think Overlord, <sighs> while not particularly powerful, is pretty much the sort of thing I'd expect from like a prototypical set. Like mm. they're testing the power <laughs> of a field based plus, um, as opposed like a field based. Um, stock plus without anything else. That's something I think is interesting. Yeah, sure. um, uh, like, I think I think this entire last like six months to a year has been an example of like them trying out new things rather than trying to like print stronger and stronger uh, decks every time. I, think I don't actually, know, man. Well, I think last year was. I think they really wanted to lower the power level of the game overall. Yeah, last but, year was like, underpowered like, as hell. The, the the issue was in doing that. It meant that we saw. Sunshine and Bang Dream and Heen Logic at every event because they were the sets like right before things got printed like underneath yeah. them. Uh, yeah, right before they decided to lower the power level and like the only the only like arguable cards in the entirety of 2018 which contributed to powerful decks were either for those decks or were for like underrepresented sets like DC and LB, mm -hmm. which is like eh, I mean. I think that's an okay way to take things, but it's not a good way to develop a, a fun game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it, anyway, doesn't, um, it, does, it doesn't feel fun to do unpowerful things. That's why Steins Gate up. Yeah. It's why Unison is, like, bad except for one card, which is, yeah. like, it's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. So I look forward to stronger sets being printed in the immediate future. I expect, like, Million Live is already looking up. It's not an OP set by any stretch, but it's certainly looking up in terms of, you know, it's got good top end, multiple good top ends, actually. Yeah. And, um, and I, I, I think Million, well. like, Million Live is, like, the perfect example of a good set, right? You've got so many different ways to take it and so many different play styles that it, like, leans towards. And I'm, I don't think any of it's broken. I think it's good, mm. but not broken. Whereas yeah. Goblin Slayer, I also think will be good but not broken. Overlord will either be awful or really, really good. It will be one of those two, I think. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? So, be precise. Uh, what does that mean, man? I don't get it. Uh, maybe you should play Weiss, then you'd get it. Like, what do you way, mean? It, it could I either think... be really good or really bad. What, yeah. that, what does that like, mean? <laughs> It means based on how the meta turns out, it'll be either really good or really bad. It's like a deck that's like, say, control in any other game. Control is really good when mid range is the clear, obvious deck and it becomes the deck of the tournament if mid range is the obvious deck. But then if aggro is the obvious deck, mid control probably sucks, right? Which cards are you talking I mean. about? Because yeah, control is meant to do well against aggro. And I don't care. Oh, I, don't control control. Like I get the analogy. Which deck are you talking about? Like which cards? I'm not, I think trying, I'm not trying to point out any. I'm not trying to point out any specific card, but like, you look at the one zero. What's his name? Like his alter oh, ego, whatever. Yeah, I, I, I think That's it's in like, a similar spot to like the, the um, the like uh, Kankal. Like Kankal's really good if there are tons of um reverse level ones around. But if there are fewer reverse level ones, then it's like becomes less and less good. Yeah, at some point, maybe they'll make Attack on Titan. Like, Attack on Titan's a weird one, right? Because it both denies reverses and needs to reverse. reverse. Yeah. That's but such like, a weird one. It, it, in that way, it's perfectly balanced. Like, I think a lot of um, Bushy Road sets, it's been a thing, for, like, for ages, but they always try and print, like, an answer to what the set's trying to do within the set yeah. itself. I think purely reactive cards kind of suck, though. Like, Oboro is not a good card, I don't think. Hmm. Anyway, um, that's what I mean. If there's a meta that fits some of the stronger cards in Overlord, like we'll discuss them in a set review. I haven't looked over the set super closely, but my impression is that it'll either bomb or it'll be a tournament presence. It's, it's one of those two. Uh, do you, so there's a couple more things that I think we can cover without doing like a full tier list because, I mean, we've got like a bunch of tier lists everyone wrote with their opinions on it. Uh, we should what talk about sets... 
how the meta mm, go on uh, yeah or, like so oh, okay. obviously so, love low sunshine is dead but my prediction is that bang dream is still going to be up there because it's bang dream not because it's particularly good but because everyone has the cards and because they're pretty cards and they're super cool. cheap as well in japanese at least i th i think in a sense what's gonna happen or not gonna happen uh is the dexter have a strong level plan like ReZero, ggo maybe konosuba like the, the multi the multi early play decks might see a surge uh because like the the premier the early play decks from before got restricted uh and on the flip side like decks that try to combat those decks like tlr or nanoha are gonna be worse because there's just not as many targets mm. I, 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 so, think, uh, I think a lot of um, players will gravitate towards Kamusama. I think it's one of the strongest picks out there and it's got a, a, like on offer it's got like watered down versions of a lot of what just got hit yeah well I don't need, I wouldn't even say watered down version I think the stock swap uh, refresher is like a lot more obnoxious in Konosuba than it ever was in Bangor. I don't know. Like it, like it costs six instead of three. And it's a lot less, a lot less flexible than what Bang Dream could do. The reason why people didn't favor Konosuba that much was because um, uh, it's quite easily hated out, and its iteration is JT iteration, right? Um, a lot of um, field based decks will easily deal with whatever Konosuba can play at level one, which is why. Which is why I think it wasn't that popular. Uh, but, you know, in a meta that has weak level ones, Konosuba is indeed one of the best decks in the room, for sure. Because there is like no stock issues the, for any of the yeah, Like, I, I've, I've seen, like, the. Um, I, I've been, like, following the Japanese environment pretty closely for, like, a while. And there's a definite trend towards more, like, Generic Shimakaze combos that gain a lot of power in your turn, and then just like accept that they're going to be reversed on the backswing. Oh, that that's bit, that that was set design of 2018 for the most part. Yeah, yeah, and like, it was like set design of 2016 for the most part. <laughs> um, j j like purely because like the more that Shimakaze is like that that get played, the more that Shimakaze is like that will see play just. Because the more of them that exist, the more targets there are for them. Um, so, pretty much, it's like a it's it's a cycle. Also, also the thing is that like uh, level one field based decks really suck against Konosuba's level two plan if they have the Mega Mins, like the mm. Mega Min or uh, because Japan those doesn't run the Mega Mins. I mean, but like I you mean... don't get those really if you don't get your level one shit. But at the same, yeah, I mean, you don't get one anything combo. if you wait, don't wait, get wait, level wait. one. That doesn't, that doesn't really make a lot of sense because the level one combo isn't selective at all. Like neither no, level one combo actually selects select your early play. The stock is what's you need. The, you need the stock but in the, order to like use your resonance oh. every turn. I think you can still get like mega mins without uh, getting the worst. They have to. Exactly. Just, they have to. You just have like less stock at level stock three for your resonance thing and for early plays. I don't think they have to. They have to play the early plays first in order for that to be an issue. Yeah, I mean that's also a problem. Like, yeah, the yeah. the list don't really. The list decided to opt out of swimsuit mega mean and the early plays lately, and they just focus more so on like aqua. Yeah, yeah they, they play never, multiple aquas. I don't think they were ever playing the early play. They were always uh, playing no, they never. They there like, was never. When, there was never a mega mean presence in Japan. Yeah, it was always, always the aqua. Too. Yeah. Um. And they just multi-field that. It's a four of, it fixes for foreclosure or whatever, like confiscation of property, whatever you want to call it. And it only costs one stock if you have an excess of hand and don't too, care too much about that. Yeah, I mean, it's different now because, you know, Longi and Sunshine aren't in the picture. Um, I think another reason why I didn't really want to run the Megumin stuff was because it's not that great against Sunshine and Longi. But they opted to run bombs instead. But that might change. We might see... A shift towards early play Mega Mean builds? I don't think so. They like their clean clean cuts way too much to play Swimsuit Mega Mean. Whatever. Um, 
I'm not even joking. I think that's actually the case. I think they like clean cut way more than they should. Yeah, I think but that's, they hate, again, like, they hate runners, so they can just put the swimsuit Megaman in the runner spot. Well, the reason they hate they runners, like, well, if you don't like runners and you like clean cut, then that's obviously an environment predisposed for clean cut to be good in, right? Yeah. Like, that's obvious. <laughs> yeah, but, like, um, like, uh, like, I think you can run SimCity Mega Man alongside Clean Cut. I don't think you have to pick between one or the other. The space is uh, sadly quite tight, especially if you, especially if you want to run the alternate level one Mega Man combo, which I think people do run. I don't think it's that good, but it's 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 fine. Like the uh, the list Nando took to Worlds was like a mix of runners and swimsuits, right? So you just take the runners out, put the well, I mean, the runners are your ditch out. Well, the runners are like your selectivity. You can't take out the runners. No, you can totally take out the runners. It's fine. I don't think so. Well, Konosuba. I, 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 I don't think so. Konosuba doesn't have... Yeah, they don't have like a good selective costless ditch out. I think they will have more room because they're probably cutting stock bombs because they don't need the yellow anymore. Um... So it is possible that we might see them run the swimsuit Mega Man. I have no idea why they're running stock bombs to begin with. They're running for yellow. Hello? <laughs> There's no other yellow. All the yellow sucks. <clears throat> uh, like, it actually just sucks. Um, there was never a pointed yellow. The only good yellow card bombs. is the check top why. three. Like, they wanted the bombs yeah. consistently coming down level two. That's why they put the yellow. Uh, Do people I, even play the, the Cosmo check? The, the normal splits play the Cosmo stock bomb. They play the stock bomb, yeah. Instead of the, <laughs> the Cosmo thing, which, whatever, you know. And Nando played the uh, sack to summon Aqua card. Yeah. Which I think which is I better than the stock. I think it's better than this. Um, sure. I than mean, some yeah, of the, the other, other thing is, like, it's not exactly as if, you know, Konosubilis were getting optimized in Japan either, because they, they weren't really playing with that that much. Yeah. No, they're playing Bang Dream. Like, it was like yeah. Bang Dream. Yeah. They considered, I think, better than Konosuba, just yeah, straight I, up better. Because so I think Konosuba was just see, weak in the format overall. You know, more, in, more. You know, might, might even catch up a little bit in their Konosuba lists. Uh, as far as sets released last year that have a shot at being like top dog in the new meta, I think Summer Pockets is also. Summer Pot. I think Summer Pockets is is the obvious choice of last nah, year's. Screw Summer Pockets, man. Miku's OP. Miku's also really good. I, yeah. I don't think Miku's that good. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't I, want I, Miku I, to I, be. I, 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 I think it's reasonably inconsistent. I think. Yeah, I really, really don't want Miku to be good. I, I think it's really like, vulnerable to like any stock swap. And I think it. <laughs> you um, can just stock charge less though. Yeah, well, like you don't but, have but to slam. If you're you just so not stop charging, then you're just not doing much of anything. You can just you can just start paying three for the the one zero Miku uh, clock fixer. I think that's you, a and... problem that is a good one to solve, right? It's not as though the deck is, has no reason. To yeah, do like it, right? it's just something that's that a, um, that's, that's, that's a good run. problem to have. Yeah, deck just need that's to figure out mean, a, right? a solution to stock swap, and then it'll be a good deck. Uh, a lot of cards. Like when when your floor is to always do three damage six times, you can only be that bad. Like that's literally the, thing about, the floor. Um, look, the thing about that's not the floor, dude. But <laughs> the thing about Miku is that I don't know. Have play you on... played Miku? You can do the combo every game. Like yeah, it's actually impossible but... to yeah, break. Well, the problem is, are you are you both gonna be level three when you do that, or are you gonna be level three and every guy's level two? Yeah, sure, that's, that's possible, that, but that's you problem. can still... That's the problem right here. But the thing is, you can still kill a guy from level 2 if you do oh, okay. 3, 6 uh, times. Yeah, okay, dude, it's, 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 not, it's, it's still not likely. But the thing is, Miku can play it like fairly low stock. You can just sit around 4 or 5, depending on how many events it's resolved. I mean, it just needs a and... productive way to use stock, right? I mean, that's another reason why Sunshine was picked, was because... Um, it, it wasn't as susceptible to stock swap because it used stock productively and powerfully. As yeah, too. like Hinologi. That's how it is. Yeah, well, Hinologi was also less susceptible because it had market compression. But um, well, uh, I mean, all, I mean, it all, used all the stock. That that's the point. Is for one guy to figure out some card that'll use stock in the way that the deck needs it to, 
and then it won't be much of an issue and it'll be perfectly fine it'll be like a i mean cheese, the right? card that does that is the one one offense sure you just slam that card when you see it play play four of it people do play people do yeah. play four of I mean, it play, yeah, yeah that's the point no, i'm saying play literally i'm saying in game play four yeah, I, I, I've seen that happen. I've seen people go down to like five cards in deck and waiting room. That's the uh, that's the really stupid scenario. But yeah, <laughs> you play four, so you can resolve two of them. That's how it is. You play four, so you can resolve four. Yeah, um, yeah. Are you new to this? Um, mm, yeah, so I, I, I do know, think... I, I, I just think Miku's like... I always saw Miku as like a glass cannon. I that's think. understandable. I think it's... It's That's like fine. Most decks are glass events. cannons. Like it's it's super dependent. I think and people people are, are afraid of. If you don't yeah. have momentum, people are afraid of. They're afraid of glass cannons so much, and I think that's an irrational fear, because glass cannons are like cannons for a reason. If you've got a glass cannon, while everybody else everybody else is like these little pistols, well, there's merit to having a glass cannon, right? I think I think they actually that they like, just love people love. Stuff like that one one event too much now to try Miku. That's mm. what I think. Um, no, but like if you compare Miku Miku to like the traditional glass cannon decks like LB and rewrite, uh, Miku doesn't need to hit its level one combo. And even if the fail case, like you can basically say like the one one event is kind of like your level one climax. Uh, but even in the fail case of not hitting the one one event, Miku spends so little stock. That you can still pull off your end game perfectly fine, and you still have cards in your hand perfectly fine. Like do, even do you in your worst case, do you understand what you're trying to argue here? You're trying to argue that drawing multiples of a four of is somehow more consistent than drawing one of your four of. No, no, no. I'm. You only need one of the event, really. I mean, you definitely want more than one. Otherwise, your deck's not actually I mean, that no, impressive. No, no, no. The, the, I mean, the deck like, you're, just you're running, scales. You're running a gold bar, right? So, yeah. like, even one event snowballs really cool. Yeah. Like, uh, unlike other decks that, like, uh, really hinge on their level one combo, you're both fine with drawing all of your level one combo, clim sort of climax, whatever. Uh, and you're also fine with when you don't draw any, unlike the other glass cannon decks. Sure, but let's be reasonable. Most level one combos are a lot stronger than whatever Miku's doing pre level two. I mean, you're that kind and of obviously, sure. isn't that great, right? I mean, Miku yeah, gets it's... entirely carried by the 2 0 event. That's yeah, nobody's Miku is complete, that. Miku is complete garbage until it starts playing Umi Yuri, which is still missing a line of text and needs to be like eroded. I, I don't yeah, think it is one of those I do cards, huh? that's still legal. <laughs> I do not understand why that card is allowed to exist. It's just not a reasonable card by any sense of the term. It's poss like the only reason it's not as broken as something like Kasumi is because it's a level two card. They did release like oddball cards like that last year, didn't they? Like <laughs> cards that are just like whack, incredibly over two. Right, Umi Yuri, Foreclosure, uh, uh, Principle. But these are all cards that were before they scaled down power level. Yeah, 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 yeah. But just, this was like, this yeah, was start of the year. Yeah, yeah, they were, they yeah. were yeah, yeah, and they were also expansion uh, sets. I think they're all expansion sets. So yeah, I, I, yeah. I think I think it's almost exactly that card that made them go, oh, okay, maybe we've taken the game a bit too far. I think we need to try and scale it down a little bit. If, well, if I think any like different. any competent like, player. Any competent player at all in any language anywhere. Could have told you that card was a mistake mm -hmm. like that's the sort of card where the rest of your deck can be abject crap and then it isn't because like miku is a ricky miki miku is a runner miku has a freaking bond to this stupid ass event like it can have complete garbage everywhere else and it doesn't and that's why miku is a stupid deck right now remember when they they spoiled umi yuri's text and nothing else and everyone thought it was fake <laughs> well i i was like oh well they must have typoed <laughs> There's a discard missing from the end of this. Because, like, that would be a card I could see it in printing. 2-0, uh, plus 0, but you get to mill up to 8, and it's discard out, and it's kind of selective. That's a really decent card to have access to. 
But no, it's just a straight up plus one. Yeah, for you, freaking you don't need a music like character a, on the field. Compare it you? to like a two on salvage two drop one, right? You, you know what? Oh, you You're right. You do need you you do need a music uh, character, and that 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 makes sense. I wasn't considering that when I was assessing the card. You guys see only one was. line of text. There's two lines of text, dude. Yeah, it's totally Fucking like, what a bunch of liars. Like, fucked up. The fucked up thing is they could balance such a strong event by like having a harsh requirement, like full field music or something. There were like no, it's nine, like, ten different ways. To, there were so many ways to balance this. It could read your turn ends at the end, and that would be quote unquote balanced. But no. Well, okay, that would be unplayable. But yeah, that would be stupidly unplayable. Yeah, and garbage. that's balanced, uh, like as compared to what we have now. Yeah, so garbage is bad. <laughs> So any other thoughts? <laughs> You're right, it would be bad. Sets as far as uh, impact on the post in a, in this What even post was game? last year? Uh, like Steins Gate, uh, no, Yuna, uh, probably probably GTO. not like Yuna. Yuna has a chance at being like a supremely fair deck that doesn't do anything good except deny level one combos. That's GTO something Yuna came out last year. Yeah, came out this year. Franks came out last year. what's with your favorite deck? Aren't, aren't you in love with no game anymore? I like no game, but like, I don't think a lot of people like no game, so what can I say, uh, man? So, what's up with Monica? No. Monica's not doing anything, man. Monica is good, but Monica is also illegal, so. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not talking about. Tom, we Tom. Can Tom. Move Japan. I, that's why I'm asking about this. Okay. Stuff. Okay, people sure. in, people like, in have Japan you seen Japan's play. model colors? Okay. They play <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, no, Tom, Tom, Tom. They play eight bar. Okay. Wait. Dude, they play. They also eight play bar. like eight Dude, gates. Eight, eight, eight bar. That's Sayaka. Like... Pirate Pockets is also broken though. They play like eight gates, Sayaka, Kyoko Wish stuff. I'm I'm gonna be real guys. Madoka, Madoka is like the oldest thing ever now. It's like 25 years old or some shit. No one's going to play that. You can only play like recent stuff, dude. Yeah, like Lotus War from Sneakers at Bunko. <laughs> Record of Lotus. <laughs> I can't believe that's a thing in Weiss now. Oh, I can't believe Ninja Batman's in Weiss now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Not yet. Same. Oh yeah, by the way, card cap that came out last year, the set sucks. Actually it came out this year, whatever. No, it came out this oh. year, but it was like at the tail end. Yeah. And that card is gonna get that deck is gonna get bodied by Konosuba, but then it's probably gonna beat like everything else that isn't attack on Titan. And that's the really sad part. Again though, card caps is just like it, card caps is a balanced summer pockets in the same the card... way that in the same way that GGO is a balanced sunshine, right? Our capture oh is God. broken yeah, until like, was, like, all my double R's. Been printed initially. Once my double R's are sold, it sucks. But right now, it's broken. All right. Hero is like the uh, best. Forty of each double R. The deck's God. really good. I play at any regionals. Thank you. Okay, that's all I want to say. All right. So, uh, ignoring card captures, right? What decks got much worse? Like, what should you not play now? Aside from the band decks, obviously. I actually think that, like, TLR is in the worst place it's ever been regarding meta. Because yeah, a lot of the I early so. play decks died, and Wormhole against, like, 2-1 field-based strategies, which there are a lot of right now, actually, is just not very... not that efficient. And, like, you're, still, you're it's still fine, but, good like... Anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's still fine. It's, like, still a B-tier deck, but... It's not where, like, I think all the last couple casts we had TLR top in top tier, and we had like we had like hour long discussions about it. But like, okay. this is the first time I feel Let, like let's, TLR let's be fair. just isn't that good. Not not everybody shares your opinion. I was closer to most people, but most people were not regarding to, to Love Rue as top tier. They were regarding it as like B tier. So if it got worse, then obviously it's even worse now. I still think it's like bottom of A, top of B, somewhere somewhere there. I don't remember where I put it in the list. But Hinoloki not being not being a free win anymore is like not a good thing. I think uh, Christian might have just finally improved at the game to realize it's not that good. <laughs> uh, it's okay, okay man. He had a all the stock. He had an ex. Yeah, he had an Excel World moment. There is what you're trying to say. 
Oh yeah. No, Milky we didn't. Is really like, good now. That deck is fucking sick. Yeah, but it, now. Milky Home is oh, okay. So, firstly, Milky sucks, but it's still A tier, and it's only good because of those stupid PRs, not because of freaking oh, Cordelia's it's, Garden. It's already it, it, good. A tier. A tier. It was already good. Well, I it, thought it was Milky good. Milky Homes was then. already good. Now it's like super good. I mean, Al, are you still putting? It's, are you still putting LB? Let's chat talk about how bad Milky is because none of you believed right. in it. Are, are you still playing? Hey, oh, oh, wait, 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 oh, I believed it, it. Tom, and I am now it. not a believer. Neither you or Christian played it for WGP, so don't even, don't even. I played it for WGP. Wait, you, 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 you did play it. You ate did play it for. Oh, I literally played it for WGP, and I drew four of the <laughs> yeah, red you did. one zero, oh, and funny. I lost to some scrub. Oh my god. My well, there you go. So you wait for Milky, so it's an my fucking ass, poker, deck. Man. <laughs> ass deck. Anyway, Milky's in the same spot as LB, where it's a good deck that no one will ever play because it's Milky Homes. No one gives a shit about Milky Homes versus it's LB. No one cares about LB in 2019 slash the fuck is a two soul. Like, yeah, 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 it's yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think LB is worse. Guys, guys, I, I, guys I, 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 yes, I, to, uh, Tom got it. LB is actually also in the worst place it's ever been right now because the two i don't think it's, it's definitely not it's not the no, worst place it's ever no, been don't exaggerate you're, you're cheapening your point i'm just it's just weaker it, it, it is it is weaker before this band i think, yeah, I think the two one one, in a great spot what no it's not it is it is specifically not in a great right spot now, two one rin it's two one strategy is outclassed by a lot of decks right it, now well, it's wait, not look just at that the, wait, like look at the top decks look at the top decks and Rin doesn't line up well against like any of them. It's it's not even that. Like one of the things the two one Rin did, and well, I don't think I discussed this with anybody, is that you can't stock swap LB. Like LB is the one deck that has a gajillion stock, and stock swap does nothing to it. Like you you've quote unquote stock swapped yourself already. What the hell are you going to do to them? Like because of that unknown factor and the fact that LB spends stock so efficiently. Rin was actually really, really good against decks that just relied on the stock swap. Like, even if it let Konosuba do its stuff, like, it, it didn't care if he stock swaps me. I don't care if he used foreclosure. It's not going to do anything to me. Mm -hmm. And, like, the same, the same goes for Bang Dream. Like, whenever I played against Bang Dream, who cares about them stock swapping me? I've got, like, 12 stock, and I don't know what's in there. Neither do you. You're going to stock swap me? You're going to use your resources? They're never going to do it. And then you just get some money counter anyway. So one of the reasons LB is in a less good spot now is because stock swapping is on the low, and that's something that LB did not give a damn against. It was that was actually one of the weird strengths of LB. It was so low variance that it didn't give a damn about this super powerful end game that everyone else is afraid of. And like, I mean, in addition to that, it's not super special right now, aside from the fact that it's got this two soul combo, and that's really it. Like. LB's got a really efficient level zero game. It's got a really good level one combo on like a, a quote unquote good climax. But other than that, it's not actually that special. Like anti heal is easily circumvented these days. You still play it because you screw around with a lot of decks with it anyway. And its finishing is nothing special. It has to rely on m money counter. That's why it's got a real problem against some decks, like say Attack on Titan or um, uh, Wind Standby Summer Pocket. It's got a real problem against some decks because of that. Uh, uh, so like like it's not like like I think money is just as good as it always was. The only reason I say little like the run is good is just because it doesn't get beaten over by early play level threes as often. Uh, I mean, I mean, it, look it, at the it, card. Well, I guess if they're not playing the one combo. It's not look, if you hit level one, if you hit level one first, uh, I mean level two first, then yes, ring is powerful just as it's always been. You kill their level ones without any real opposition because no one plays any big wall level ones anymore. Mm. You've got these nine Ks. You've got a billion stock, and if the game went even like remotely well, if you hit a single brainstorm prior to this, if you got a triple combo, which is not particularly hard, then you've got a you've got a two one anti change in your hand as well, and your opponent is going to get anti damaged, and you're going to have stuff on field, and you I might mean, even play the bar again. Uh, look at look at like of, uh, South makes LB worse too. The what? Um, presence of Sal. I mean, Sal was never a relevant 
metagame, like, it, it didn't matter because no one played Yuki up until this Gara guy. What? No, I'm talking about, well, I'm just saying all of its pieces until level three um, can contest. Don't deal well with SAO. They can, they can contest I mean, whatever. on power, right? And it's yeah. been board consistently against LB no matter what it does. LB is prepared for that. That was that's well, not good, but I mean, it was never like the major issue. Good, right. I'm just saying, like in a meta where the decks can deal with two and Rin very well, <clears throat> whether they field level ones or level twos that can contest them on power, that makes LB a lot worse. And I think you know. Yeah, sure, that's fair enough. I mean, more like, common now. Like, like look at look at what a lot of people like. A lot of people have rewrite in top tier. Like, two one Lucia eats two one Rin alive. A lot of people have Konosuba in top tier. Okay, okay. Let, let's uh, let's, um, let's, let's be real. When it comes to Japan, all of their decks, like all of their builds of rewrite, all of their builds of um, Konosuba, actually do really badly against Two One Rin. Okay. Okay, but the, well, well, I'm not okay. really talking I mean, about that. I mean, we can't. I mean, but you have okay. to talk about yeah, that. Like, like, what else I, can you I, talk I about? I think, to, like, talking about the Japanese meta game is always just conjecture because we only see snapshots of it here and there. Are you going to yeah. tell me that they run they run like as many two on luchas as we do? Because they don't. They run the Kotori. We know that. Sure. They run two on Lucia. I guess the notion of talking about LB is just in the context of you know, of West of the West anyways, the Western, because because the only players that are gonna play it are in the West. <laughs> like oh, man, literally that's the same, more that is two exactly souls. the same. I'm pretty sure more two souls are in the West than they are in than there are in Japan. So <laughs> Look, let's be real about this. We talk about a lot of decks that will not see any like significant rep. We talk about Attack on Titan, which is still a good deck by everyone's reckoning. No one plays in Japan. It was quote unquote on a watch list because it had good rep in like one tournament or something, but that doesn't really count. We talk about LB Did and everyone still look, everyone here thinks LB is like at the very least, a B-tier deck. I'm being generous here because I'm sure someone here thinks LB is awful because, I don't know, they're bad at cards or something. But Japan does not even put LB on anywhere near a tier list. They don't think it's even playable. They think AOT is like a B-tier deck at best. Equivalencies. They probably rate like Symphogear and No Game No Life and Steins Gate above all of these decks. Unironically. Because they don't know what LB does, whereas they know what all these other decks do. So we talk about a lot of stuff which is quote-unquote conjecture. And I think that's fine. Because ultimately, it's interesting, right? That's why we talk about it. Like, we talk about rewrite as if it's this dominating force. Like, I think everyone's got it in, like, A or S tier. But Japan doesn't even play that deck anymore. You don't see it anymore. Like, you see more friggin' Love Live Vanilla than rewrite. You can go look at some tournament stats. It's probably true. You'll probably see more Million Live than any of these, all of these decks we're talking about in our A tier. Like, um, say, take my A tier, I don't even remember what's in like Attack on Titan, Milky Homes, uh, To Love Rue, like Summer Pockets. I, I put Soundless Voice there, for Christ's sake. I put all these decks there, and I can guarantee you, all of those added together will be less rep than Million Live at any given tournament. Like, we're yeah, talking about a lot of conjecture, a, and a it's interesting. Is, That's why we talk a, about it. Like, a tier list isn't about representationally it's about no see about the thing is a tier list in our in our consideration because we don't have access to like all of the japanese information because none of us plays on the japanese circuit where like there is actual stakes and because we have like two tournaments a year our tier lists aren't really based in representation but when we talk about like an actual tier list for say any fighting game any um like Dota, like any sort of game where there is a clear and measured tier system, representation and what people have a tendency to play, play a big role in it. And as a result, you do have to talk about that. Like you can't completely leave it out. You can't look at everything in a vacuum because that's just not true. Like in America, you got to look at a deck matchup against Railgun because I'm like, it's 2019 and we have to talk about Railgun because June keeps winning and you'll keep letting him win. And good on him for winning, but, I mean, that's just how it is. If there's someone who's a massive threat at tournaments, and June is a threat, he is a really good player, but he's playing this 20, it's like oh, 2012 yeah. deck or Railgun something. Is now like, too, right? What is? Railgun? His deck is better now. <laughs> oh, he, his, his version oh, of Railgun yeah. is definitely better, but, yeah, like, that's, that's a given. Three-piece, like, that's, that's Michael a, Jordan. 
Juno. Yeah. Um. Anyway, Thanks I kind of went on a rant there. <laughs> I kind of went on a rant there. So I, I watched this guy, Christian and June, money match in Japan. And the first match, Christian, I think, had four climax in hand, in hand at one point. And he was refusing to ditch any of them. Just dedicated to this poker face, stone face. I've got climax in my deck. And it, it was amusing. Anyway. Uh, on the topic yeah. of ReZero, what do you guys think about ReZero? Christian's not allowed sucks. to talk because he talks too much about ReZero. I, that sucks. I, 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 I've caught a lot of flack from um, local players who disrespect women, who like absolutely adore ReZero, and I really don't think it's that good. Mostly because so, of the run Felt, and I think Felt is like the one thing ReZero does that is good. Um, yeah, unfortunately, like there are a few people in the world that share your opinion. A number of them are in this call. There's like yeah. one guy in Singapore or something, and like a bunch of people in the US who are uh, got ReZero in English and posted on Global, and they post at a time where only Europe's awake. So Christian gets to them first and post this big ass primer on how Yellow Blue ReZero is the only set, uh, the only deck worth playing. There will be the people who like rate ReZero, but in the That's Japanese meta game. Like, as also yeah, one, I think that's definitely true. But even, even with set two, I, I don't think Betty's that good. I don't think the watermelon realm is that good. Uh, I think Dude, it's ye yellow watermelon watermelon realm's a good card, but the thing is, it doesn't go on a good deck. Whereas yellow blue yeah. is 47 cards from set one and like a couple yeah. of clean cuts. And uh, like, I don't even know what else you play from set two, man. There's like nothing. I'm, in play there. I'm playing one clean cut, one Ricky. Oh. Puck and one <laughs> Amelia runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rezero's definitely <laughs> good after I heard that one. Uh, I think Rezero is better in the same sense that it is another beneficiary of the top double early play. Yeah, and it's you know, pe people now. aren't people aren't playing anti change stuff as much anymore because yeah. the big boogeyman Hinologi is not around. Love Live Sunshine. Oh. I mean, Love Live Sunshine wasn't well attacked by anti change stuff anyway because it was so efficient. But yeah. people played it against it and thought it was good, and now they'll play less because they, <clears throat> what they perceive is that because Love Life Sunshine is not around, their anti change stuff, which was you know already ineffectual, is even less ineffectual. I, unfortunately, I don't think any early play deck that currently exists can be a very good tourney deck at the moment unless you're playing them at the beginning of a season, because mm. like the rationale mm. is that none of these early play decks have a big enough reward like sunshine did to basically not care about no 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 yeah. dude dude there's this there's one thing that yellow blue rezero has over everything else yeah. is that no one no one knows what felt does they're gonna look at the card they're gonna read it they're gonna think oh this card kind of sucks pay two for a burn lol okay and then instead of bombing the felt they're gonna bomb the rem with one marker and then felt's gonna attack like four times and the opponent's okay. gonna lose and not I even realize they think... lost I'm sorry, I don't want to cut you off, but I actually think that is the biggest myth propelled that makes ReZero players win. I think you actually kill the Ram. I don't think you kill the Felt. I think that's actually just silly. What, what, no, what? I don't. I, like, what? I don't even. I don't even anti-change the Ram. Most games, the Ram. you can the just Ram. beat over it at three, unless you're finding <laughs> a level two, lasting like four turns. So the thing is, like, the Ram doesn't do anything. ReZero, like, until until, until they refresh. Time. With yeah, like four markers felt, underneath felt, it, it doesn't felt, do anything. Felt provides immediate value in like multiple the ways. Thing is, you can always kill Felt with most level threes. If you if a rem farm twice, a lot of things can't kill it anymore. And if you can't kill it, Rezero's allowed to play a sustain game but later, and that's okay. I guess if you don't kill the looks like. I don't know. I, I think that's really sketchy. I think I think it's very rare that rem gets that much value. Like you've you've got to hit like a refresh with like five markers. Rezero only so wins when Rem gets a lot of value. That's like the problem I have right now. Rezero like literally only wins when the Rem gets the value. So you kill the Rem so it doesn't get the value, and then you can kill the Felt later. No, I don't. That I don't. Not that I don't. It doesn't live. Yeah. But 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 then the Felt gets the immediate value, and they win faster. I mean, it's just one stop, right? <laughs> it's, it's 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 literally not, one, it's one stop. stop like, one it's like it, it's not a lot, but like. I think you're underselling Felt. I, I didn't even yeah. hear half of what you said because I cut out, but like... Okay, I mean... It, I just, it, it, so, it, it, we're going to talk it, about Felt, but we also... Like, if the stock matters, like... The, the deck has to be able to use that stock in a powerful way. 
That's what I think. The, the it's it's, count, not, it's right? not just one stock, it's immediate. I'm talking about immediate. The same stock. If we're going to talk about the immediate effects of the stock, what can ReZero do with that stock? That's no, it's, very it's, powerful. It's, this, it's the same idea as like Yuki, right? You just thin your deck immediately, as opposed to. I don't think it's it's nowhere near as it's nowhere near as strong as Yuki. It's nowhere near as strong as Yuki. No, but like it's not even a relevant strength. I think. No, I I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna follow you down. Well, I'm I'm not gonna follow you down this path. I don't think that the one card you pull from the deck is significant. We're talking about tournament viable decks. We're talking about like a we need to get significant advantages from this stuff, right? Uh, One card compression doesn't cut it. No, look, thing is... Well, yeah, okay, so... Over multiple turns, but, like, the stock uh, gets used for rest counter, mostly. And, sure, like, but that's like, not a and rest counter is and, good. Like, rest counter is good when your board lives, when you have a very, very strong board that lives, and that's why Ram needs to die. Die. When it gets too big, yeah. you're winning field every turn, you're doing more soul without playing Climax, and you can use rest counter profitably. It's I mean, actually okay. a problem. But you wait, even if you have to kill Rem and you devote your resource to killing Rem, then Felt is still running around and that's still bad for you. At least for one turn because that's, Felt's... That's okay. why ReZero is like an okay deck. Sure, but is it a tournament? Like, no, I, I wouldn't like... play ReZero right now. I think ReZero actually got a lot worse over the year because like other sets just caught up. Yeah, like uh, I, I think a lot, a lot of what when ReZero oh, was printed was amazing is now very average. I think it was amazing for like two months, and then Love Live Sunshine. Felt, felt, still super over spec, guys. Like you can't, like, you like can't. Felt is sick, but it. like, it, like if you want to, like you know, people thought Amelia was sick when that card sure. got printed, felt is and now good, it's like a the really. Deck sucks. Yeah, no, Basically, I can agree with that. that does I don't think the deck's opinion, yeah. the deck is not strong enough the, to be carried by guys, one card like Miku is. You know the sad part is I can't even like Priscilla meme anymore because there's like summer pockets now. <laughs> Feels bad. Nice, nice one. Uh, what else? Summer pockets is good. Like we didn't actually discuss it much. I kind of cut the um. I kind of cut the discussion off. Summer pockets. So, so do we? So do we? So do we talk about summer pockets then sure. and how it's the next meta threat? I don't know, yeah. man. Summer pockets is. It's not going to be highly repped in Japan because of the fail case. Like, I, I'm pretty sure no, that's just how it is. Shit, they? They're running the pirate deck? I mean, yeah, yeah, but that's not a strong deck. Even pirates isn't bad. It, it, it's, still, it's still a highly repped deck. They just haven't settled on, on, a, on the build yet. That they're they're getting there. Is, that clock they're, is really good, I think. Yeah, uh, they're they're slowly getting there with the build because build the, the builds have settled on playing the three two Kamome. They're just still uh sw like switching between the Kamome combo or the Shiroha combo. I, I don't think Kamome is that good. I think she does a lot of things and stock swaps OP, but the other mode is just it does not matter, man. She's a healer. That card is actually so you can, you can, you can always just play one stock swap stock swap. Oh, to Misashi, and then you're in a good spot. Dude, you don't need like multiple times. That's the not good. Own... No, the no, second stock stop is not... never good. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't really play you the stock play swap. You can play the TD with, uh... card to do that. Dude. Yeah, you, you, you don't play the stock swap with Misashi. You play the stock swap with like one to two of the TD hours, and you're just trying to burn through you their play deck. Play the TD hour with it. Like, yeah, it's a fine card, but you only evaluate it as a stock swap that you know has a heal tacked on. I don't think the clock kick really matters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what that deck does. Like... It's dude, stock swap three times. I mean, something else like... that you, <laughs> that you uh, something else that you have to evaluate when you're comparing it to the standby is the amount of slots it take. It takes because right. the stand the, the standby the standby stuff takes minimum uh five nine stock. no it takes minimum nine slots out of your deck compared to the four Kamome takes. Slots. But it but it does make the um the Akatsuki engine a lot better, which is really important. Well, it no, makes but the Akatsuki you, engine you play playable. Eight, if you play eight bar. If you play eight bar, you get I mean, access to a Ricky, which is more than nothing. But like, I mean, you, the, 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 I, I know the you set, just set, talked the, about the set. Always had had a Ricky. You just get you just get the good Ricky. That that's a big difference. Okay. Like, there's another <laughs> thing I'm really I don't like how people call salvage Ricky's Ricky. Because that card is not comparable to Ricky. That card's trash. No, it's, uh, fine. I, it's fine as long as your brainstormer compliments. 
which Summer Pockets doesn't. But I mean, like, if you're looking like uh, Attack on Titans, I no, think no, no. I, I, I'm just, I'm just saying in general. Like, in general, a salvage Ricky is so much worse than a Ricky. It should not share the name. And they I do can't do anything things, about that now. But... You can't say that. They do just... different things. They make different yeah, parts yeah, and of your They game, do do it's... different things. They do do different things, and that's why I don't think it should be called Salvage Ricky. I agree, but I don't think they're any worse. They're just, they're just different. Like, uh, like the only reason I think they're called Ricky is just helpful terminology for newer players to figure it is, out. It is. It is significantly do. worse. Like it is. Mm-hmm. I think that the power level, the power disparity, is is like it's huge. Salvage Ricky is a lot like, worse than Search Ricky, but Search Ricky is like uh, one of those busted cars in the game. I'm not saying Salvage Ricky is bad. I'm saying that Search Ricky. Is so busted, it shouldn't be called the same thing. Yeah, I, I mean, I think there's a reason we see a lot of salvage rickies with mill attacks onto them. Like, just the salvage ricky is like not an OP effect. It's like it's no, got a it's got a cost that can be utilized as a tool. It is a cheap plus, but it's nothing like the actual ricky. Uh, it, it does allow you to mulligan your level one combo in order to dig for yeah. the climax, which is really useful. It makes a lot of like look. Salvage Ricky does that, but so does like the normal Ricky, honestly speaking. Mm, I don't know. Realistically, yes. Because you're not going to yeah. burn through all of your level 1 combos. Like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? You're going to just I mean, search it's, it's, and... I mean, it goes beyond that, actually. When you play with a Salvage Ricky, you're allowed to mulligan even zeros away and still expect to try field the next turn. Because like, but like Sir Tricky kind of does so that too. Does Actually, yeah, Sir Tricky does that too. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. That's I'm objectively wrong on that one. That's my bad. I'm just wrong on that one. I was about to say you're kind of retarded, aren't you? <laughs> Times where I'm just no, wrong. You're allowed to oh, you're when I'm just wrong. Sir Tricky or Salvage Tricky? I I think Chris still works really well as a Salvage Tricky. No, I, you, I, that's, I you, you say good. that. You well, say that because you, you haven't what? played it as a search, Ricky. I I no, like, Ricky. I, 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 I think being able to mulligan errands away in order to grab, like, dig for wins and be able to Dude. hit all, all of them. You, do that with no, re- you can still, do that with still, regular yeah. Ricky. Yeah. It, no, it you can't because Ricky. then you've got Chris no uh, access to your waiting room at all. Yeah. You've got no Chris is the only salvage. So as soon as two errands are gone, that's it. You've got to wait until yeah, your but, first two friends. Your favorite not to... You're favored to have errands in the deck anyway. Well, the, the thing is, AOT is a bit different because AOT also has the move gears, and the move okay. gears are basically okay, more ways to search Aaron out of the deck. Instead of search, would you still rather? Okay, that's awful. Would you still rather? Would you still no. rather have a No, no, no. I wouldn't run AOT then because only you. Well, do. I'm just saying, like, if you had the search with and the event salvage or whatever, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, the well, reason that would be why fun. the search event is good is because it's basically acting as a Ricky. Yeah. I, I think that's fair. Like, I, I just think that, um, like, having a salvage Ricky in a deck that has nothing but search is really powerful. Well, yeah, I mean, it, has, <laughs> it, it basically combined its search Ricky slots with its OP event, and so it has the room to run these salvage Ricky. That's one of the objectives. Yeah, I think, it, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Bonkers. bonkers. Like, I mean, like, if, if they were going to print a Ricky in the new South, I'd definitely rather it be a Salvage Ricky than a Search Ricky. Wait, you're South? crazy. In the South set? Yeah. In SAO? That makes no, that makes, the, like, South. no sense. What? What? So that I can mulligan away Yukis rather than clinging onto them. You can mulligan them really really anyway. You can mulligan them already if you really no, have to. Just no. run. I mean... Wait, 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 wait. Just run the... Bath Asana, easy. Probably. Like, it only, it only grabs Yui, Asana, Kirito. What? The Bath Asana? No, the, it doesn't grab Yuki. The bath, not, 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 the, not the Ricky Asana, the Bath Asana shuffles two cards back asana. and gains its soul. Oh, I'm saying like, I, 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 Yeah, you do run that, but then it delays everything by a turn. It's what really... It doesn't on play. Yeah, I know. But, so you play like, that... You've got, and shuff, the... you've got to shuffle it in and then grab it. So you it. play that and then you play Search Ricky. I don't no, like your your level zero gets way too tight. Then there's no way that's good. Uh, Dude, you're, you're, you're mulliganing away the card you want to search for, in order to dig for a second card you want to search for. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like I think it's less relevant in Yuki decks too because it's a gold bar. 
like. Yeah, it's yeah, similar. like that. Like, well, that that that's barely a change. It's like a three or four percent change. It would actually actually like ten percent. It's like the same. It like would be just right? generally be a really useful effect to grab clean cuts. When they get reversed in opponent's turn, or to grab Bismarck's. But you can you can just search, search from deck. From deck. Like especially search. when they're like two, especially when they're like two or three else, they can go missing early really quickly, and well, it's like, just nice to have. No, some that is not likely, with. dude. That's just not likely. Wait, it happens like, like often enough. Happen. Like the search trick yeah, will improve okay. your turn two clean cut chances way more than the salvage trick is. Okay, man, it can happen, but like you're arguing, this is the Chris fallacy, right? You're arguing for the one in 10, like one in 10 times is going to happen, but the other nine out of 10 times, you can just do what the search Ricky does and it does the same thing. But the other nine out of 10 times, you don't need the Ricky at all. But your what? Hand just falls into place. So I don't like, like, like the one time that I would need a Ricky are the times where like my level ones are missing really early. Like you played play. the Ricky so you can have that happen because you're not always going to get your one zeros. <clears throat> the fallacy is that you don't always want Ricky. You always want Ricky. Like every every single time. It's like impossible to not want Ricky. Yeah, like I, I, I'm normally not on board with Chris's hyperbole, but I am this time. I think you just always want Ricky in like every I, deck I, I, that I can run Ricky just always wants it, man. I think Yuki makes Ricky redundant regardless they no, do like, different ricky finds you yuki you have like no fucking way of searching out right. yuki can we yeah, not talk about you you the you only need the one yuki, and then you'll get to go for the rest of the game yeah but you need to find the first yuki how many gold bars do you have oh. in your hand man i i play so the Dutch so you just stupid. play gold ball like every single turn. You run, <laughs> but you, you need play, see a promo to dig for gold. But you need to find the first Yuki. But dude, dude, if a Persona Five had a Misakuro, dude, that'd be pretty cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh. God. Okay. Can we just like? Fearless time. Wait, are we getting... We're getting off track, yeah. <laughs> You're actually doing a tier list? If so, I'm gonna bow out, because, yeah, like, gonna, I've been in... I've been in... Gonna do a tier list, but, uh... Uh, I mean, we can, we can just look, like, over people's tier lists and, like, talk about the things that stand out to us. I mean, the important ones to look over, I think, are, like, the people who aren't here, because everyone here has already said a bunch of stuff. Uh, if anyone has any points they really want to make like if, if ryan yeah, wants really to say want to nah, make nah, 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 i really want to make the point that fate series is soon to be s tier listen <laughs> man listen yeah, but sal's gonna get a ricky okay, so boy, I'm boy, boy. Boy. sal's gonna get a free runner yeah boy i might be a nanaha shell but i'm not i'm not blinded by my love for the okay, little girls dude you're, you're gonna get a free runner oh but it's gonna God, be one air air now. Now. <laughs> It's gonna this be one K power, and when it attacks, it gives like uh, it gives like five hundred power to a I don't know a Sinon or something. That's what it's gonna be. I mean, that's what the free runner does. It gives one K to a Sinon, and that's only a five hundred power tax. Uh, it also uh, I don't know, man. It's also an assist five hundred. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think that um sets sets that are probably gonna come up. Um so Heaven's Feel is probably gonna make fate like kinda relevant again. So you should buy the two on free fresh promos while you can. Uh they're um, 4k now, so you missed that window. <laughs> uh, just I think I, like, Snap bought the ones on strictly because we were selling for like thirty five dollars, I think. So I'm so <laughs> glad I have mine. Okay, so so uh so JoJo's part five is gonna be the SST. The only mm -hmm. problem is the finisher. The finisher will require you to explain to your opponent what King Crimson does. So no oh, one's gonna be no, able to. No, 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 I got you. I got you. I have a PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, just hit me um... hit me up on Discord and, and I'll send you my PowerPoint and, and I got you. Hey man, I don't need the PowerPoint, I can just watch the anime. Uh nice uh... try. Nice try. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I'm assuming Persona Five is going to get another set at some point in the future. It just seems like they're gonna like. Why wouldn't they milk that? 
Um, uh, I don't, I don't know if that makes it good. If for some reason, wouldn't they have stuff, done an animation? Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't it have been announced already? I feel like if, if no. it's a set that's coming later, it, it would be a little too too little too late. Unless they're waiting for the, like, the uh, OVAs gonna... to finish. And then they're doing like the full anime well, set. That, that's the thing, right? They're gonna they're gonna announce it uh, when they announce Persona Five Racing in March or whenever. Remember? Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> god. Um, I, I do think that will come out. What else has been announced? Uh, the new Nanaha set. New Nanaha set's gonna make Formula Mode. Yeah, okay. Mode so that doesn't, that doesn't matter. That that just doesn't matter. We don't have you to talk about that. Formula so. Mode is gonna be an A tier set. Buy your one zero formula combos now. Trust. Hmm. Sad thing is, I think I agree with you. Um, <laughs> what, what else? What else is coming? Like, did anything uh, else get like announced? There's a new sim the, a new Sympho gear set. I think is relevant. Oh yeah, I, okay, I, I, so I, more, I think I think Sympho gear is very close to being. Good. So, uh, so yeah, but the thing is, it's it's been very close to being good for like four years, and they just yeah, always give you like, bad wifey cards. It's I think two sets in the space of two years now. I, I think Sifu is like, like the perfect opportunity. I think Sifu is actually on the like the breaking point right now of just being a good deck. So I think yeah. it, like like I think the new set will actually push it. It just needs one or two more cards. Yeah, they've given dude. They've given them enough. That's what we good. said about the Ilya. Remember. And then yeah, Ilya Dry happens. But, but but fucking Ilya's for lollycons, and they have to be punished. Oh my god. AOT Season 3? Yes! Yes! Hey. Fuck yeah. Yeah, because it's... Probably happening. Yeah. I don't see why it wouldn't happen. Like, SAO also got the new set, but we already talked about that. No, but they're gonna buff the tit out of green, and then the deck... Like, green's gonna be fucking dank. That'd be right. fun. So, um, Green, Green, so Konosuba's gonna be OP, right? Like, oh yeah, wait, Konosuba Kono, Kono, uh, can oh, get a movie set. So. Konosuba's getting no, Konosuba's getting new cards from Bunko. The sneaker Bunko, yeah. Yes. So if we listen to if we listen to Cole, they're going to get a uh, a zero zero Kome, uh, for Megumin specifically, and it's going to be ridiculous. No, all right, that's fine. What I want is for Endless Eight to get some actual support. That'll make me happy. Not support. Uh, I don't know, just have a zero zero with a fake cost that salvages endless eight events. Or like say or the fake cost is to memory, like like Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, so the cost is uh, put two to yeah. memory to salvage two. <laughs> just no mine. Uh just just ah, print like the me. the got you mean, Use and like, uh, the was, cut promo. I was the cut promo say, for endless eight. If if you're gonna like do a real card, it would just be the Gochi Usa card, right? Yeah, free free mill and puts the event in memory. Um, yeah, I was I was gonna say I just take you know the Kato PR, but then I realized they're like the same thing. So yeah, they're, yeah. they're the exact same card. They're like practically the same thing, but yeah, that Dude. would be really really broken. Saikano <laughs> gets like five be... new cards with like the uh, second uh, with the, the next All line of set, right? Yeah, cool. Um, oh, so um, the real it's, it's, it's like, it's like a, a side note, by the way, like just to like take us back like a little bit. I think JoJo is gonna bring like a ton of new players to the game, which is gonna be really nice because we haven't had a set that's brought like a huge influx of players in a while. Yeah, well, we haven't had a we, well, Steinsgate. Um, and I, I think Steinsgate was a lot of existing players, I don't think anyone's bought into life because of Steinsgate. That's probably true. I uh, think I think Gurren Lagan was actually like a pretty big yeah, one. Lagen would have been a big well one. you were you yeah. were what sold That's better? Steinsgate or Gurren Lagan Gurren Lagan? Uh, I'm pretty sure Gurren Lagan sold better. Gurren yeah, Lagan so it, it does more interesting things. Like, I, I, I think like, like no, the, what what sold better? Gurren Lagan, I'm not yeah, sure we, about we, Japan, right? But over we, here we I think we objectively sold more Gurren Lagan, so that was a really good. How setup. about in, in just, English? How about in I don't know about Japanese, Japanese. Man. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Sure. Yeah. So you didn't get Japanese. Like so really matter. Matter. Um, yeah. Um. So I guess the real, like, important question to come from this is: When's Infinite Stratos? Yes. Holy shit! I'll split ten tiers with him. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, look, I think we'll just... I take all the SPs. You was just gonna steal from the store again. We're just yeah. talking in circles now, so like I think we can we can probably wrap it up pretty soon. 
Uh, I need to like stop ignoring these people at this dinner that I'm at. It's uh, yeah, this is pretty awkward. <laughs> but um, uh, look, if you've got anything you want to say about this cast, anything you you've got to say about the band list, uh, any cool new Love Live Sunshine brews you've got going, any Bang Dream brews, uh, drop them in the comments. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your opinions are, because you know we're not always right, uh, especially not Chris, and especially not uh, UA. Uh, and we like to be t- we like discussion. We like to be told that we're wrong. So uh, look, I'd like to thank everyone for making time out of schedules to be here, especially Ryan, who's got a midterm in like twenty minutes. Uh, and um, yeah, just anyone else got any shout outs they want to make? Shout out to Strictly Broken TCG. Um, uh, we've got. Uh... A UK channel, Surprise Lethal. We're hopefully going to start doing regular podcasts soon, so uh, check those out. Assuming they're out by the time this goes up. But is Cohen going to be on it? Cohen will not be on it because it's then a UK I, then, I'm, <laughs> then I'm not interested. Like I, Brexit well, we... people are Brexit people. Yeah. <laughs> also, like shout out, shout out to shout out to E and TCG. The new competitor <laughs> for Strictly Broken TCG. Yeah, and um, we... Yeah, go on. No? Well, we also got to plug uh, Josh Audi Benitez and his awesome uh, band list... What do you even call these? Graphics? These band list graphics. Uh, links in description to his... Uh, well, like, his community channel. Uh, thanks as always, man. And... Um... Oh, I got a shout-out. I want to shout-out Ken's blog it's really good. It's like a good bridge for Western audiences and Japanese audiences. Interview on it. So check it out. It's pretty cool. Wait, what, what, what's his blog? Asked, but he was not on it. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. We'll put it in the description. Anyway, uh, thanks for chilling with us. Um, and hopefully we'll see you around next time.